guys, it's Debbie. It's time. I've got a brand new location. 10510 Airline Highway, Baton Rouge, next to After Five Tuxedos. We have the perfect spot to get all your wedding and formal wear needs. Come see our one-of-a-kind name brand and get great prices. With 30 years experience, the best customer service anywhere. It's Debbie's Bridal, Airline Highway, Baton Rouge. See you soon. You could be driving. Honda has won more U.S. News and World Report awards than any other brand in the last decade. And now you can add another one to the list, being named the best car brand of 2022. Come get your Honda today at Louisiana's number one Honda dealer, Team Honda on Segan Lane. Visit Treads and Care Tire Company's new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for over 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair and top-notch customer service. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling Nothing could ever bring me down Nothing could ever bring me down Taste the feeling in your little slice of heaven since the last opportunity we had to spend some time with you heading into the Easter weekend. We start today's show talking about Louisiana news. And let me preface this by saying, I'm old school. Make that distinction. And I understand full well that in recent memory, a segment of our society has, for whatever reason, forsaken our Judeo-Christian heritage in this country. For those that doubt the authenticity of that statement, all you have to do is look at what our society has become. The most holy week in religious circles in our country just passed this weekend. And you know me, I, I, you can't blame an old guy for wishing, for hoping, but with this explosion in crime in South Louisiana and the nation in general, I mistakenly was hoping that on Easter weekend, maybe, just maybe, this would be an opportunity for us to pause, to reflect, and to maybe step away from the violence, from the crime, and the things that ail our society just because as I mentioned you can't you can't blame a guy for wishful thinking nothing could have been further from the truth on this most holy of weekends in New Orleans more than a dozen people shot and as is typically the case many of the instances dealt with things that in the grand scheme of things amounted to much of nothing. Here in Baton Rouge, a rash of shootings as well. As a matter of fact, as we speak, the BRPD is starting a news conference on the campus of BRCC, Baton Rouge Community College, for those of you that are not uh, Baton Rougeans. The department is joining with BRCC 
to recruit, to foster community engagement, and initiatives in reducing crime and violence in Baton Rouge. In recent memory, we've had more than our fair share of press conferences, and personally, I think it's time for more solid, concrete action. You've heard me say God knows how many times. If you are of the opinion that, well, you know, Clarence, I'm concerned about it, but the fact of the matter is we don't have those problems where I live, or I live in a safe part of town. And you've heard me say over and over again, if you don't do your part to help curtail the violence, rest assured, it will be coming soon to a neighborhood near you. I know that folks here in EBR have noticed with increasing alarm how parts of town that normally would not see violence of this sort are now starting to experience it firsthand. Perkins Row on Easter Sunday of all days we find a 69 year old man <sighs> kidnaps a woman from the parking garage at Perkins Row and sexually assaults her on Easter Sunday of all days. Now listen y'all, I get it, I understand, not everybody is into that Jesus stuff. I get it, not everybody believes what I believe. Not everybody subscribes to a higher power in life. As an American, that's your right to worship what you want, where you want, when you want, or not to worship at all. I get it. But just basic human decency, y'all. On Easter Sunday, you go out, kidnap a woman, and sexually assault her in the parking garage at Perkins Row? You know, not long ago, I was blessed after getting a call from a dear friend, the mayor of Denham, Gerard Landry. Mayor, I know you're probably watching tonight along with the missus. Uh, we send our best to you and yours. I was invited by the mayor to be the keynote speaker for his National Day of Prayer conference in Denham. And the title of the address that I gave at the time was, now more than ever, America needs our prayers. And just this weekend, as if to reinforce how true that is, we have video of an individual attempting arson at a Struma Baptist Church. I can't tell you on Easter Sunday of all days how that wounded my spirit. Of all the days you could pick to try and burn down a church on Easter Sunday. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Well, Clarence, that guy, that, that person has to have either some mental problems maybe has an ax to grind with someone at the church or whatever, regardless of, of, of the rationale behind it, that person needs some serious prayer, y'all. Serious prayer. And the fact of the matter is, and you've probably heard this on more than one occasion, those of us that are members of the community of faith, we've gotten entirely too comfortable inside the four walls of our churches. We have padded pews, air conditioning, comfortable places. For many of us, it's become a social gathering more so than anything else. Meanwhile, 
all around us. Satan is busy, busy, busy. Kidnapping a woman and sexually assaulting her in a public place on Easter Sunday. Walking up to a church attempting to burn the place down on Easter Sunday. And of course, rampant shootings everywhere. And by the way, our heartfelt condolences to the family of that darling three-year-old that was recently murdered. I can't begin to imagine Easter Sunday for the rest of their lives will never be the same again. God in his infinite wisdom designed his universe such that parents are not supposed to bury their children. Children are supposed to bury their parents. Anything else goes against the natural order of things. And of course, as we've seen as of late, we are burying our children at alarming rates. I know that there are a lot of people watching right now that are of the opinion, Clarence, I'm concerned about it, but I really don't know what I can do to change this thing. Well, I'll go out on a limb and say that the prayers that you can muster certainly couldn't hurt. We have arrived at a point in time, y'all, where we can no longer afford to keep hitting the snooze button. If we do, by the time we finally do awaken to the reality that is facing us, it will be too late. If ever there was a time one would have thought, maybe, just maybe, we will get through a weekend without reading something and going, oh my God. Maybe, just maybe, since it's the holiest week of the year, maybe we will put down the guns and stop killing one another over senseless things. Maybe, by next year, we'll get the message. But in the meantime, I say again, my friends, America needs our prayers now more than ever. We're coming up on the first break of today's show. It is, of course, Tuesday and coming up on segment two. So you know what that means, right? Yep. It is time for another edition of Now That's Just Stupid. That's next when we come back, continuing today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show, only on the Pelican. Stay close. Hi, I'm Bobby Yarborough with Manda Fine Meats. Here at Manda, we know what the folks of South Louisiana love. They love great flavored smoked sausage, delicious deli meats, and specialty items like boudin and andouille sausage. Manda Fine Meats has been providing these products since 1947. We produce them right here in Baton Rouge, so you know you're always getting the freshest product at your local grocery store. Manda Fine Meats. Taste the fresh local flavor in everything we make. Make it Manda every time. Bolello's Furniture and Appliances, your dependable independent. Depend on us for service, for selection, for price. Get huge Whirlpool savings. Shop now and save on Whirlpool appliances throughout the store. Plus, experience our price match guarantee and ask about special financing. You can depend on the know-how of people who live appliances every day. Bolello's Furniture and Appliances, your dependable independent with nationwide buying power. I owed the IRS $10,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. I'm self-employed and didn't report all my income. They claim I owe a lot more than I do. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions Now and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had 
my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. Tax Solutions now saved my business. I qualified for the Fresh Start program. I paid less than I owed. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions now. Call 800-778-4345. 800-778-4345. The Mazda CX-30. Named an IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus. Perfect for the journey ahead. Start your journey in a new Mazda CX-30. Right here at Team Mazda on Airline. Hi gang, Clarence Bugs here, inviting you to come by Old School Barbecue, 10655 Corsi Boulevard, where we tape the show live every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 11 o'clock. Come by and feast on news, sports, current events, love of God and country, and lots of common sense, along with some of the best barbecue anywhere on the planet. 10655 Corsi Boulevard, Old School Barbecue, home of the Clarence Bugs Show. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Welcome back to today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show. If you are new to the show, you may not be aware that in recent memory, after watching this explosion of stupidity in our country, we've instituted a new segment entitled, now that's just stupid. We're not talking run-of-the-mill, everyday, regular stupid, which of course would be the traditional S-T-U-P-I-D. What we're talking about here is a level above, as the graphic shows you, S-T-O-O-P-I-D, as in, now that's just stupid. We start with well-known Democrat strategist and Louisiana native Donna Brazile. You know, adversity is something in life that reveals the true character of people. When things are going along nice and smooth, most people are a different individual from when things change 180 degrees in the opposite direction. When things aren't going well, when things are really going bad, that's when the true measure of a person typically comes to the forefront. This Sunday, on this week on ABC, Donna Brazile weighed in on the upcoming midterm elections and claimed that the Republican Party was, quote, essentially running on fumes from the energy of the so-called big lie of 2020, saying, quote, all we have to do, Democrats, is wait over the next 37 days as 11 or 12 states hold their primaries. You have big primaries in Ohio, and North Carolina, Pennsylvania, where the former president has already tipped the scales and supported one candidate over another. The Republicans are essentially running on fumes. They're running, Democrats on the other hand, are running on an economy that's roaring back, an economy that is fighting inflation. Excuse me? <laughs> the economy is roaring back and the Democrats are fighting inflation? So let me get this straight. 
the Republicans are running on fumes. Are you talking about fumes from the $5 a gallon gasoline? Those fumes? Maybe you're talking about the fumes from the stink of our withdrawal from Afghanistan. Maybe she's talking about the fumes from the stink of the explosion in crime all across the country. <laughs> you know, when you sit and listen to liberals, it truly makes one wonder, are they really that stupid? Or do they think we're that stupid? I mean, good God, Donna Brazile, look around you. Look around you. I've never heard of this place. Mono County, M-O-N-O. -N -O. Mono County, California. The average price of gasoline in Mono County, California, wait for it, $6.47 a gallon. But the economy is roaring back and the Democrats are fighting inflation. <laughs> That's how you make the leadoff story for another edition of, now that's just stupid. Of course now, reality has a way of bringing you back. It's really going to be interesting to see, after the midterms, what Donna Brazile thinks about her fellow Americans then. I think we all know the answer, but it's going to be fun to watch anyway. As you get older in life, guys and girls, I guess it's a part of the human experience that you encounter things that make you realize, you know what, I'm getting on up there in age. For example, recently, we've all heard about Disney and how they have completely embraced the whole woke culture. And of course, you would think at some point, the folks at Disney have got to realize that the majority of Americans are not in line with the agenda that they're pushing. Not that, you know, it would ever stop them from becoming more woke. That's just who they are and what they do. But recently, <laughs> Disney, I guess maybe in an effort to outdo themselves and prove to the world and the rest of the American public just how woke they actually are, decided that we need to do a better job with all of the movies that we put out. So, Disney now has decided, in an effort to not trigger anyone, we need to start putting warning labels on the movies that we have in our catalog. <laughs> Who would have ever thought that Lady and the Tramp would need to have a warning label? Who would have ever thought Pinocchio needs to have a warning label? Who would have ever thought that Disney could fall this far? I can't begin to imagine what Walt would think if he were here today. It is, of course now, one of those instances where if you can reach them at a young enough age, you can indoctrinate them for the rest of their lives. It is absolutely scary 
what is going on with what many of us at one time considered to be an iconic institution in America. Now, all of this, despite recent polls that show three quarters of the American public is not in line with the LGBTQ plus MNOP, BMW, EV, whatever letters they've added since the last time we said it, agenda. And yet, Disney continues to soldier right along. But you know, there is a bright spot to all of this. It occurred to me just this weekend, I'm flipping through the channels looking for something to watch. And I stopped on one movie and I go, oh no, can't watch this. So and so is in that movie. And so and so let us know in no uncertain terms last year exactly how they feel about conservatives. When Donald J. Trump was in office, the Hollywood celebrities, the sports stars, the wokesters, they all let us know in no uncertain terms exactly how they felt about conservatives in this country. And while it was a little painful at the time, I'm now grateful. Because as I flip through channels now, oh, there's a whole lot of TV shows, a whole lot of actors, and a whole lot of other folk that don't get two seconds, not to mention two pennies of my time or my money. You went out of your way to tell me exactly how you feel about people that love God, that love this country, and believe this country is a great country. So thank you for revealing to me that you are not worthy of my time and you're certainly not worthy of my money. Yeah, it makes it a little harder to find stuff to watch these days, but at the end of the day, I wouldn't have it any other way because I'll be darned if I'm gonna support people that hate this country. I'll be darned if I'm gonna support people that talk about me for doing nothing more than exercising a constitutional right. So at the end of the day, <laughs> keep talking. Keep telling us just how you feel. And that way, we can make darn sure that you never see another nickel of our money or five minutes of our time. And at the end of the day, that's how it ought to be. Unless, of course, you just stupid Disney. Bottom of the hour break. Let me knock this one out. We'll come back and talk more. Right where you've got it on today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show, only on the Pelican. Stay close. Got termites? Get Premier Pest. PremierPestServices.com Driver assistance technology comes standard on every Camry model as part of Toyota Safety Sense. Setting the standard for safety every time you're on the road, no matter the destination. Save on your Camry today at Team Toyota, I-12 at O'Neill. Hi, I'm Katie, Operation Manager here at Old School Barbecue. We're excited about all of the changes here at Old School, and we'd like to invite everyone to come out and enjoy some delicious barbecue at Old School prices. We feature brisket, chicken, ribs, sausage, and the Boss Hog Pulled Pork Sandwich voted best deal in town. We also have live music Friday and Saturday from 7 to 10 p.m. 10655 Corsi Boulevard. We can't wait to see you. Hello guys, it's Debbie. It's time. I've got a brand new location. 10510 Airline Highway, Baton Rouge, next to After Five Tuxedos. 
we have the perfect spot to get all your wedding and formal wear needs. Come see our one-of-a-kind name brand and get great prices. With 30 years experience, the best customer service anywhere. It's Debbie's Bridal, Airline Highway, Baton Rouge. See you soon. Hi, I am Dr. Farrell Frugier, Jr., and I am a general dentist at Frugier Family Dentistry. I was born and raised in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I went to Catholic High School, LSU, and LSU School of Dentistry in New Orleans, where I received my DDS degree in 1986. I always have and will continue to be committed to continuing my education, to invest in technology, which makes the diagnosis and delivery of dentistry more thorough, more comfortable, and more aesthetically pleasing. In our practice, we are here to serve the patients. We want to improve their quality of life and to develop relationships with our patients. In dentistry, we have a chance to impact lives on a daily basis, not just by doing dentistry, but by getting to know them and being a part of their life. We also believe in giving back to our community. So every year, we give back to the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank, Toys for Tots, and Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. Please stop by and visit our office. We would love to take care of you and your family. Hurricane Betsy Barnes. And I'm Dr. Kay Siller with the Rocket Right Show. We are two busy blondes on the go showing off life in Louisiana. Watch us on Pelican Sports Network. And talk 1073 FM. Check local listings for times. Caught spiders. Premier Pest Services. Welcome back to today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show. I, um, earlier in the show, made the comment that you can't blame a guy for wishful thinking. Not that it always works out that way, but, you know, being a glass half full person as opposed to a glass half empty person, you always hope for the best. When it comes to Louisiana State Police and the tragic saga of Ronald Green, I keep hoping that this sordid story will get better. And every time I think that, within a day, day and a half, what have you, thank you, sir, it gets worse. Last week at the Capitol, we found out, courtesy of WBRZ and their investigative unit, that state police kept no records at all regarding which employees had state police issued cell phones, despite the fact they had been warned for years to keep track of their equipment. If you know anything about state government at all, you know that every single thing they purchase, got to keep a record of it. That's so that, you know, if something happens, taxpayers are aware, okay, y'all need to find such and such because that cost us X amount of dollars. It's that way across the board. Well, with the exception of state police. Those phones, by the way, were turned in and then sanitized, meaning everything's wiped off the phone, no backup, no record thereof. As you might imagine, a lot of legislators were perturbed, to say the least. Every state agency is supposed to abide by this. But according to the IT guy that sanitized the phones, his supervisor told him, quote, if it's under $1,000, we don't have to keep track of it. 
If you have listened to me, watched me for any time over the last 40 years, you know I am as pro-law enforcement an individual as you will ever find. You know you can't count the number of times I've had law enforcement on the show, the number of times I've asked you to support law enforcement, the number of times that I've given of time and talent to help law enforcement. But the fact of the matter is, y'all, this is a blot on our state. Now, I'm going to give Governor John Bell Edwards the benefit of the doubt that he is working behind the scenes to fix this problem. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt unless and until I am proven otherwise. But the fact of the matter is, this is not a good look, y'all. Every time the legislative committee meets, there are any number of surprises from individuals refusing to answer a subpoena, individuals revealing information that state guidelines were not followed, individuals releasing information that just kind of leaves you scratching your head. At the end of the day, particularly now, mind you, when law enforcement needs our trust and our cooperation more than any other time, maybe in history, to have a cloud of this sort hanging over the premier law enforcement agency in our state is something that none of us should be comfortable with. At the end of the day, y'all, the family of Ronald Green deserves better. At the end of the day, the taxpayers of our state deserve better. At the end of the day, the motoring public, which I would imagine encounters state police more than any other segment of our society, deserves better. I guess the only question at this point is when are those in charge going to demand that we get that? It is something that many of us are having a very hard time wrapping our minds around. And the longer it takes to sort all of this out, not saying it's true, but the perception of a lot of people is that the longer it takes, the more time they're going to have to cover it all up. It is a sad day in law enforcement circles because let's be honest here, y'all. There are by far and away more good, decent, hardworking public serving law enforcement agents than there are bad ones. But law enforcement is just like anything else, any other occupation on the planet. You're going to have some bad apples in the bunch. That's no direct reflection on law enforcement. That is simply a part of the human experience. Where you work, there have been some bad apples. Where your neighbor works, there have been some bad apples. Law enforcement is not immune to the same thing. But when all is said and done, if you swear an oath and you carry a badge and a gun, the level of accountability should be and traditionally is higher than other places. And the fact of the matter is someone needs to step in and fix this because as long as it continues to flounder the way it is now, you can forget about returning trust from the Louisiana taxpayers 
to the Louisiana State Police. Just saying, y'all. Just saying. Meanwhile, <laughs> I guess I could categorize this as one step forward, two steps back. I guess I should have known that this was coming. But again, can't blame an old guy for wishful thinking. In recent memory, there's been a lot of talk about, hey, we got a pool of money. We're going to set this aside. And by God, we're going to get a new bridge across the Mississippi River in Baton Rouge. We know that it's just absolutely horrible. We know what it's doing to interstate commerce. We know what it's doing uh, to the health of the motoring public. We know how many man hours productivity wise are being lost every day, every time there's one accident on the interstate. So by God, we are committed now to fixing the problem. $500 million, we put it on the side, and we started the process of narrowing down to find the good spot for the bridge. Well, that was until yesterday. <laughs> the House Appropriations Committee voting against the recommendation of House Bill 1 from Governor John Bell Edwards to spend that $500 million on a new bridge in Baton Rouge. Instead, they agreed to put the money aside into an industrial fund until they can come to an agreement on how the money is spent. Representative Tony Bacala, quote, we set aside the money in the budget. 500 million of that could go to the bridge. It could go to connecting roads or it could go to, wait for it, an overall infrastructure package. As you might imagine, when this first started, folks in the capital region were ecstatic. If you've ever been stuck in Baton Rouge traffic, oh my God, you're sitting there saying, why don't we fix this? I mean, this is the capital city. Why are we still dealing with this? Well, that's us. That's not the rest of the state. For example, Representative Michael Eccles, quote, one of the debates right now is around one bridge in one place. Is it more important than the other 99% of the state? Representative Rick Edmonds arguing, a new bridge in Baton Rouge would make sense for everyone in the state due to the economic impact. You don't have to be the brightest bulb in the chandelier, y'all, to realize Interstate 10 runs countrywide from California to Florida, the length of the entire nation, and all it takes is one idiot not paying attention on the phone, not following the rules of the road, causing an accident, and the entire southern part of the country will grind to a halt. Now listen, I understand people in Shreveport, they don't care. People in Alec, they don't care. Bogalusa could care less until you're trying to get home to Shreveport and you have to spend two or three hours extra in Baton Rouge because we don't have enough ways to get across the river. Then maybe you'll see the difference. Where all of this is going to end up, God only knows. But it is yet another classic example of how in the state that I love so dearly, we seem to find a way to shoot ourselves in the foot when it comes to infrastructure. When all is said and done, y'all, this is the capital city. That should say it all to you right there. 
But you know how we are in Louisiana. North Louisiana has their little fiefdom. Sinla has their little fiefdom. South Louisiana has its. But in the meantime, we're neglecting the things that make our state better as a whole. Hopefully, the leaders, the powers that be at the legislature will work this out because conventional wisdom says even if we had all the money right now, you're probably talking, I don't know, maybe 10 years before the darn thing is built. And based on past experience, by the time they finish it, it'll be antiquated. <sighs> Final break of today's show. Just when you thought you were on the way to getting out of Baton Rouge traffic. <laughs> As we used to say in elementary school, psych. <laughs> Final break. We'll get her done, come back, put that big old pretty bow on this puppy, and wrap up. Today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show, only on the Pelican. Stay close. You can't smell it, but you can almost taste it. And whether it's for a family get-together or a game day feast, having Manda in the mix always sounds good. For three generations, their quality meats and original seasonings have made Manda a Louisiana legend and made their family sausage Louisiana's family sausage. Manda Fine Meats. The flavor says it all. Treads and Care Tire Company announces its new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair with top-notch customer service. Treads and Care offers the convenience of shuttle service and pickup and delivery of your vehicle. You can also enjoy the comfortable customer area, complete with workstations, high-speed internet, and a complimentary coffee bar. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. Treads and Care, the tires you need and the service you want. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Tremonti's has meat. Tremonti's has seafood. Tremonti's has much more. Tailgating and home gating platters. Huge wine and liquor selection. Beer and all the spices you need. Chairman Reserve and Wagyu meats. Ribeye rolls, shrimp rolls, kebabs. 20 flavors of sausage for the grill. Daily lunch specials and game processing. On-site catering also available. Good meat ain't cheap and cheap meat ain't good. Visit Tremontese.com. Sometimes life is wonderful. And sometimes it's not. Cherish the good. But always be prepared for life's challenges. At Private Healthcare, we provide the peace of mind you deserve. With Private Healthcare, you'll get the coverage you want and healthcare you need. If your employer doesn't supply healthcare coverage and you don't qualify for Medicare or Medicaid, you need to give us a call right now. Private Healthcare is private health insurance for ages 65 and under with medical, dental, vision, and even prescription coverage. When life comes at you unexpectedly, you need to be ready. And health insurance is your financial safety net. Health insurance has never been so easy and affordable. If you're looking for health coverage at the best price and your annual household income is $35,000 or more, call the number on the screen now and speak with a live health care consultant. Don't wait. Get the coverage you need now. Welcome back to the final segment of today's edition of the Clarence Spug Show. Question. Bought some gas recently? <laughs> I know you did. I know you did. And I feel your pain. Trust me. I feel your pain. Marty and I are going to run out next week and buy an electric vehicle so we can laugh at y'all because of gas prices. It's no laughing matter, y'all. As a matter of fact, the U.S. Energy Information Administration 
I didn't even know we had such a federal agency. Looking at all grades and formulations in retail gas prices say that we hit in this country an average of $4.32 a gallon in March. That is roughly a buck 70 more than the 260 average seen in March of 2019 under then President Wright, Donald Trump. Meanwhile, you may have noticed a slight downtick in prices. You better hurry up, run out, and get some right now because it's going back up. It's going back up. Gas price futures went up 30 cents in the last week. And it gets better, or worse, as the case may be. Andy LePoe, president of LePoe Oil Associates, says he believes that the price could rise even higher in the very near future. According to AAA, the national gas price average stood at $4.08 a gallon as of Monday, April 18th. However, the average price is still over $5 a gallon in places, states like Nevada and California. I told you earlier, I got to find out where this place is. Mono County, California, M-O-N-O. They are reporting an average of $6.57 per gallon. So it's conceivable in Mono County, California, they will see $7 a gallon gasoline in the near future. And in the meantime, we have, as the leader of the free world, a guy that has to have a staff member dress up in the Easter Bunny suit and lead him around the egg roll. Did you see this video? Joe Biden, at the White House annual Easter egg roll, is wandering around, and then the staff realizes, oh, God, he's doing it again. But this time, they were smarter. They must have been watching the Clarence Bug show, Marty, because I, I questioned less than a week ago. Why don't you put someone up here with the president to steer him, lead him, guide him, keep him out of trouble, stop him from saying stupid stuff, whatever. So apparently they got the message. Go look at the video. It will scare the bejesus out of you. This man is the leader of the free world. And here's a staff member in the Easter Bunny suit going, Mr. President, Mr. President, come on, and, and ushers him off. Whether you are aware or not, the entire world is laughing at us. Have you seen the video out of Saudi Arabia? Their version of Saturday Night Live put together a video of Kamala Harris and Joe Biden. <coughs> Trust me when I say the entire world is laughing at us. And all of this happened in a year and change. Lickety split. And sadly, for those of us that are concerned about this, what we have waiting in the wings is even worse 
than what we have up front. Oh, you did hear, by the way, that President Biden confirmed this past weekend, oh yeah, I'm running in 2024. Running for what, Joe? Running for what? You need the Easter Bunny to usher you around the White House lawn in 2022. You are standing on a stage shaking hands with thin air after making an address and you gonna run in 2024? <sighs> Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. <sighs> We're in trouble, y'all. But the good news is the midterms are right around the corner. And the American public will have the opportunity to let these folks know in no uncertain terms, we're sick of this mess, and we're going to stand up and change it. It's real simple, y'all. And the good thing that came out of 2020, all the consternation about the presidential election and the wink, wink vote count, the good news is, <laughs> y'all accept this in the spirit that it's given. For this election, it's going to be proctology time. We looking everywhere, inside everything, at everything. You won't pull this crap again. Sometimes you got to go through it to get to it. We went through it in 2020. Come midterms, we about to get to it. End of discussion. 10655 Corsi Boulevard is where we shoot the show live every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Today, we're having, um, I guess we could call it a retirement dinner. Congratulations to a very lovely couple uh, that graced us with their presence today. Come on by. We'd love to see you, and you can watch the show being taped live. That being said, my time's up, y'all, and I got to go. But this day, <laughs> maybe more so than any other in history, I give it to you. You know what? You're right. America, we're not perfect. But for this old boy's money, it's the best there is. And God knows there's no place else on his green earth that I'd rather be. Speaking of the good Lord, you know he loves you, and you know I do too. Best news you're going to get all day. Ain't a doggone thing you can do about either one. See you tomorrow.